What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. If you're new on the channel, my name is Holly and this is my garage. So this week we're going to be working on the Subaru motor. We need to take some stuff off so we can swap it onto the Japanese motor which we have over there. So the first things that we're going to be taking off, we need to take off the alternator, we need to take off the AC compressor, and we need to take off the power steering pump. We're also going to be taking off the intake manifold and the turbo at a later date. So if you'd like to learn how to take off your AC compressor, alternator, or power steering pump for any one of your Subarus, continue watching this video where we're going to show you all the tools that you need and the whole process to get it done. If you guys are new to the channel, just know that this video is part of a build series where we're doing a motor swap on my Subaru. If you'd like to see more videos from this series, click right here on this little card or up here, somewhere up there, you guys will find it and I'll take you to the rest of the series. If you guys enjoy the content that you're seeing, make sure you subscribe. I got a lot of work to do today, guys, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so for the first step of getting this alternator off, we have to take off the tension on these belts. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take off this bolt right here. Once you get this one off, you'll be able to back this one out, which is actually what causes tension on the belt. So we're going to start off by loosening this bolt right here, it's a 13 millimeter. all you need is a ratchet and a 13, and you back that one out. This process will be exactly the same for anybody who's doing this in the car, our motor just happens to be out of the car. Alright, so we just got this bolt out, took it right out of here, once you take this bolt out, you can actually just press down on the alternator. And as you see, it moves its way down, and then that will release tension on this belt. And then you can just slide it right off. Once you get your belt free and clear of everything, it's kind of stuck on this radiator hose. Then you can go set it over with the rest of your parts. Always keep a bunch of bags around, you know? We've been labeling everything this whole time, and it's really been helping out as far as putting things back together. So, you know, put all the bolts in a bag, and label it so you know exactly what it's for. So I'm gonna label this one alternator. The next thing you need to do to get the alternator off is just another 12 millimeter bolt. It's really long and runs all the way through here, all the way through past, like way back here. So just get that off and it's gonna take some time. Once you got that bolt out, you just slide on the alternator and it should just come right on out. Just kind of crust it in, kind of have to wiggle it a little bit. Just watch your fingers, you know, this fucker is heavy for sure. Alright, got that bad boy free, I'm gonna go put that on my you know, my parts shelf because I'm gonna be using that on my JDM motor. So, we gotta save this. All right, so the next step, we're gonna be taking off this AC compressor. We have to get off this belt, of course. So, you just wanna loosen up this pulley. You don't wanna take this bolt all the way off. You just want it a little loose so you can loosen tension on it and get that belt off. So, once you get this a little loosened up, you can come up to this bolt up here. This is that long bolt that runs down, and you start backing this out, and it will actually bring the pulley up towards you. See, you can see that pulley coming towards me, and that's taking tension off of it. Once you get to a point where you feel like it's loose enough, then you can take it off. There it goes. All right, so once you get that belt off, basically the first step is gonna be taking out these two long bolts that go through to this bracket. You wanna keep this bracket on 
because this bracket is actually a lifting point right here and then back along where the turbo housing is. Those are your lift points for when you're taking the motor in and out of the car. So we're gonna keep this bracket on there by removing these two long bolts. There's two more bolts down here, it looks like. I mean, actually, it looks like just one big bolt right here that you could take off, too. I'm just gonna take off that bolt first, and we're gonna. So there's two more bolts, it looks like, down here, and then one more over there. They look like they're gonna be kinda hard to get onto, so I'm gonna start with the harder one first, just in case I can't really get to it, you know? That is a problem. One eternity. She's on. Damn, this bitch is heavy. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we ended up having to take the whole intake manifold off to get to this third bolt. It was just super hard to get to. I mean, you probably could have gotten at it the same way that I'm at it right now. I just, I couldn't see how to get to it without having the intake manifold off. We do need to take that off anyway to put that on the Japanese motor to be able to run it because uh, the USDM intake manifold is throttled by cable while the Japanese one is throttled by wire. So we had to swap that already. So we wanted to take this off. We were lucky where we were able to keep all of our fuel lines intact and on the fuel rails and everything like that. So this will just be a complete drop down setup for the new setup. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Should make things pretty easy. got the AC compressor out of the way and the alternator out of the way and unexpectedly the intake manifold out of our way we're gonna be getting the power steering pump you need to use the USDM power steering pump if you're swapping over to a JDM motor or else it just won't hook up to your steering rack correct so I need to use this and I need to use the alternator I'm not actually gonna be using AC so I'll probably be selling my AC compressor link in the description I'm just kidding with you guys but all right so we're gonna take this off basically it's just three bolts <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like one right here, another right here, and then one in the back right here. They're all 12 millimeters and you should be able to get to them with a simple extension. So we got all those bolts out. Now this thing should just lift right out. There we go. So keep that bad boy. We're going to be using this on the JDM motor. Alrighty everyone, so you can see we got the intake manifold off, alternator off, AC condenser off, power steering off. Basically we got everything off that we need to swap over to my JDM, you know, motor over there to make it compatible with the USDM ECU. 
So we also got my turbo off in the back too because I, I decided I want to use my USDM turbo because it's a little bit less rusted out than the JDM one. So you'll also see us installing that. So if you'd like to see us install all these accessories on the new motor, make sure you subscribe, click the little notification bell so you know when we're coming out with new videos. If you'd like to see some more videos from this series, see us pulling this motor out, or see us painting the engine bay or getting it prepped, click right up here on this little card. It'll take you to the rest of the series. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support and the love you guys have been showing me. Comment below what you guys would like to see next after the Subi's finished. Maybe a drift car, maybe a muscle car, who knows? I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but let me know what you guys would like to see. I really appreciate, I appreciate you guys' support. Sorry, that was a tongue twister. I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, guys, what your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve. Peace out.